with my mentality, just going out on the mound and just trying to get my team back into the dugout so we can score. Sarah Gronewagen, 13 strikeout day. The defense doesn't have to do a whole lot behind her because she's sending the batters back to the dugout. Yeah. Gronewagen ends the inning in strikeout style. You know how good Sarah Gronewagen is? She's so good, she doesn't need an H at the end of her name. She's already been a Big Ten Freshman of the Year, Pitcher of the Year, Player of the Year. And this season, the senior is dominating the league with an ERA way under one. But what you may not know is, every time she steps on the field, she's not just battling against her opponents, but against her own body as well. 9 a.m. Game day for the University of Minnesota softball team. Inside the Gopher locker room, two-time All-American Sarah Gronawagen is the first to arrive and begin her preparations for the opposing lineup and for her own well-being. So I first have to rewind the, um, the cartridge so I can fill up a new one and put it in there. To be honest, I don't even remember my life without diabetes. That's how long ago it was, and that's how much of a norm it is for me and my family. I got diagnosed when I was nine, so I was in fourth grade. My parents, they knew something was kind of up because I didn't want to go to practice. I didn't want to go to games. I was getting sick. It was not a good feeling. Having your blood sugar high is, I wouldn't want to wish it upon anyone. It's the worst feeling ever. This is something I'd rather not do in front of people just because I feel like needles scare people, and if you don't know the context of it, it kind of looks pretty bad. But um, yeah, I have never really done this in front of people before. My teammates maybe sometimes, um, if it's like an emergency. There's nothing type 1 diabetics can do. There's no cure. To be honest, I felt really sorry for myself, and I didn't enjoy the fact that I had it. But I think uh, as I grew up, I realized that, hey, there's nothing I can do about it. I gotta be responsible with it. For over a decade, Grona Wagon endures a daily routine, injecting herself with insulin to regulate her blood sugar levels. My control of my diabetes has improved since I've been to college. We're playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We are practicing Monday to Thursday at these times. Like it gave me a structure and I think that's really helped me actually. Throughout every game, Grona Wagon repeatedly monitors her blood sugar levels and adjusts them when necessary. The process requires a lot of attention, even during the height of competition. Perfect. I know a little bit about it just because we're four years in now, but I don't know much about it because she handles it. You know, she doesn't want it to be a thing. So, you know, our pitching coach, Piper Ritter, knows a little bit more because they do a lot of it in the bullpen. But Sarah's been great since day one of making sure that she's on top of it and doing what she needs to do. This past year, with the more attention our program has been getting, the more people I've had reach out to me. They'll message me personally and say, like, it's so awesome just to have a figure in the NCAA to look up to. Being a D1 athlete, I have the platform to use. That's something I didn't really realize until my junior year, and that's when I started kind of putting out the message, like, hey, I shouldn't be ashamed that I have this disease, and I'm really, really happy that I can be that person to someone, that I can be that role model for someone. I'm so happy to be able to do it, and I'm happy to show to little kids out there that anything can be done with diabetes. And when she says anything, she means anything. Look at what she's been doing this year. Just amazing. 27 wins. That ERA is incredible. Second in the league in strikeouts and in shutouts. Top four in innings pitched. Still got a Big Ten tournament, as we talked about earlier, to go.